Welcome everybody to the 2023 NASCAR Long Track Racing race number one. This race will feature 24 cars ready to race down this long track. And this race, we have these sections. First, we're going to come out of the box and go down Hot Wheels Lane. They're going, then they're going, wait no, the Hot Wheels Stretch, I mean. Then they're going to come down Magnet Block Lane and onto the big black board of the finish into the three layer tape finish line. We are all ready for these 24 cars to compete. These are going to be our starter cars, the 24 and four. William Byron and Kevin Harvick. So the rules of these races are the winners will move on to a will move on to race two and it'll be a 12 car event for race number two. And then after that, we're going to see um and then the winners of that will move on to a six car event. And then the winners of that will move on to a three and a three car event. Uh, we're going to see who can, um, uh, do the cleanest and whoever does the least cleanest gets eliminated. And then we have the final two cars say Joey Logano and Ross Chastain are in it. Uh, let's just imagine if they were in it, uh, these two. Imagine if they were in it, we would see the first driver to 10 wins wins the championship of season one. So, who is ready for the 2023 NASCAR long race event? Because here we go. First race. Here we go. Three, two, one. Kevin Harvick wins the first race. Since Kevin Harvick won, we're going to grab his car. Put it over here. This is where the winners will go. And since we meet Byron Ross, we'll put his car right here. That's where the losers of the races will go. Next up, we have... Kurt Busch versus Eric Jones. Let's get to that. And here we go. Kurt Busch wins as Eric Jones slipped off the racetrack. Kurt Busch will move to the winners. He moves on to the round, to the event number two. We have our next race, Eric Amarola versus Harrison Burton. Here we go. Race number three is underway. Oh, that was a close one. We're going to have to get another look at that. It's underway. And we have news that Harrison Burton was our winner. After a very, very close finish and a lot of replays, we have found out he is our winner. Our next race, Christopher Bell versus Denny Hamlin. Here we go for race number four. I think it was Christopher Bell. We're, I'm going to have to take another look at that race. This race, holy crap. And we were able to figure out that Denny Hamlin won by two milliseconds what a race so denny Ham no not him denny hamlin will move over here to the winners and christopher bell over here to the race losers he will not make it past the first event but all of these four drivers will so far. And now we have Brad Keselowski versus Kyle Busch. Well, this is going to be fun. Race 5 of 12 for the first event. Oh, 
Brad Kozlowski wins by a landslide after Kyle Busch slips right off the track. What a race. Our race five competitor will go right here. And Kyle Busch into the losers. Oh, we are racing in Martinsville. We are doing all this in Martinsville, Virginia. Um, is there's the racetrack. Next up is Ross Chastain and Corey LaJoy for race six of 12. Here we go. Race seven, I mean race six is underway. Ooh, another photo finish. Pretty sure that one was Corey LaJoy. And by 12 milliseconds, Corey LaJoy beats Ross Chastain. A close finish, as you guys just saw. Corey LaJoy will go over in the winners, and Ross Chastain over in the race losers. He will not be making it past the first event. And our next race, focus you stupid piece of crap, is Noah Gregson versus Chris Buescher. And here we go for race number seven. Yes, race seven. Oh! None of them made it to the line, but Chris, but no, Noah Gregson spun around and hit the 12 car. Ryan Blaney's gonna have to get some front end repairs as Noah Gregson's gonna have to race with a destroyed rear bumper for this next one. Let's get a replay. And as we see here, the race got underway for race number seven. I guess Noah Gregson on Magnabach Lane spun around, trying to save it as you can see, but then hit the corner, spun around, hit Ryan Blaney, Chris Buescher hit him, and Ryan Blaney's going to need front end repairs before race 12, and Noah Gregson's going to race with a rear end uh, bumper damaged. Let's get on to the redo. That was the craziest thing. Anyways, redo for race number seven. And they're off. Oh, he did it again. Noah Gregson spins again. And that's going to be half, that's going to be good enough for Chris Buescher to win the race. Man, Noah Gregson, the race would redo if Noah Gregson didn't get disqualified. He is disqualified. For spinning two times in a row and hitting another car while spinning. But he's going to go right there. While Chris Busher goes to the uh, winner's area. And as we see here, Ryan Blaney getting you know, repairs to the front end of his car. That's going to have to be good enough for um, Chris Busher to win the race. As he's over there now. Um, and... Uh, he is going to be moving on to the next one as Noah Gregson be gets eliminated. He is over there. I'm sorry, Chris Buescher was over there. But um, let's get on to race number eight and finish this thing. Looks like he's good now. But next up we have Chase Elliott and Joey Logano. These are the two newest paint schemes that I have. So let's see who is the better one on the NASCAR long race. Race number eight of 12 for the first event of the season. We're underway. Oh, and another really close finish. I don't think that's the closest one yet, but we will find out both the winner and which one is the closer finish. The... Uh, one that we had uh, earlier, or this one. Who here has the win as we look at here? And it's Chase Elliott in the nine. And here we go. Become on board, you stupid piece of crap. Thank you. Okay. No. Sorry about that. Um. Now we have Bubba Wallace and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Race. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Race nine. Here we go. And here we go for race number nine. Bubba Wallace versus Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Oh, that was a close race. 
but Bubba Wallace gets it. All right, we just finished that. Bubba Wallace over there, Ricky Stenhouse over there. Now it's time for Austin Sandrick versus Kyle Larson for race number 10. For race 10, Kyle Larson versus Austin Sendrick. Here we go. Oh, Austin Sendrick went on the carpet. And Kyle Larson will be your winner. Austin Sendrick went straight on the carpet right here. Got onto the blackboard of the finish and stayed stopped. He stopped because of it. It really damaged his car, probably. And you won't believe what I just found. I think Kyle Larson literally just is just cheated. He put this here. So, well, Austin, get out of the way. So Austin Cindric's car would go this way because this wheel wasn't working. So he would go this way, hit this, and ramp up and not make it holy crap i can't believe that he did that austin cindrick will move on to event number two as kyle larson got disqual dis got disqualified <laughs> disqualified for cheating also, there's a piece of tape on Ryan Blaney's car because of the damage that he took from Noah Gregson. Holy crap, though. But we're going to take this piece of tape off. Perfect. It made this right here sticky. The tape. You can see the marking from the tape. He glued that thing on. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's just a really, really sticky piece of tape that he used. So it would stay on Cindric's car. What a cheater. Kyle Larson cheats to try to get to Cindric and beat him to move on to event two. Our next race is going to be, get out of the way, Briscoe and Austin Dillon. Chase Briscoe and Austin Dillon, not just Briscoe. And here we go for event one, race 11. Oh, Chase Briscoe wins, or should I say Briscoe? But Chase Briscoe wins. We're going to get this out of the way. Chase Briscoe will move on. And he wins, what the heck, the race. And I almost took over the instinct board and probably damaged Kevin Harper's car. <sighs> okay. Okay, it's time to race these two for the final race, race number 12. These are so far the drivers that are making it to event number two. And we're going to have these. Okay, I just tripped onto my Martinsville track. <laughs> I tripped. Um, It's time for these two to race. Ow. That hurt. That hurt my poor little knee. Oh, I'm so zoomed in all the way. That hurt my poor little knee. But anyways, race number 12. And remember, Ryan Blaney does have that piece of tape because of the damage on his car. Uh, we're just going to make sure that's tight on there so it doesn't slip off during the race. Uh, and exposes the blown hole in that bumper. And for 62. Here we go. And Daniel Suarez wins the race. I figured that he would because Ryan Blaney has a blown hole in his bumper. But Daniel Suarez wins as event one has been finished, everyone. And Daniel Suarez is going to move on to event number two. As back over here, Ryan Blaney gets eliminated because of his damaged car. And here are our race le losers. And oh, oh! Noah Gregson and Ryan Blaney just straight up destroyed each other because of their... Oh, my God. Okay, I gotta come solve this. Okay, what is going on here? No, he did not. It was you that was making the blown hole in his car. 
Not necessary. You made the blown hole in his bumper. You just came over and attacked him for it. No. No, it's not my fault. Jesus. You don't have to do that because of it. It was clearly your fault. No. Now get out. You stay here. We are sorry about that one, guys. But event number one has been finished. And we will got we will see you guys for event number two. What are you guys doing? And we'll see you guys next time for event number two. Stay safe and healthy. Stay safe and healthy, not safe and health and healthy. Uh, and goodbye.